greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So this is going to be a short video. We are going to drive and talk. <laughs> Mr. Sikatori Alcock is popularly known as Jacure. Now, Jacure, he is 43 years old. Not a young boy, big man. Could I be a grandfather? Jacure, he was sent to prison in 1999. He was convicted to 15 years in prison. He was released in 2007 after serving eight years. He was released on parole. Jacure, he went to prison on charges of illegal possession of firearm, RAPE, yeah man, that's sexual offense, robbery with aggravation, plus other charges. Jacure, like we said, he was released from prison in 2007. Whilst Jacure was in prison, a lot of artists and selectors, they had a free Jacure campaign. You could hear a lot of the artists and a lot of the selectors in the dances saying free Jacure. Jacure was released from prison. And since Jacure was released, he has been in conflict with many selectors and many artists. You notice since he was arrested now, you hear any artists saying anything about free Jacure or any selectors? I remember one time, you know, Jacure was telling some selectors to go and S them mother. There was a big conflict because he decided that he's not doing no dub plate for them. You know that selectors, some selectors, they live off dub plate. So Jacure and them were in some serious conflict. You see, they have a little thing, you know. Now, I have nothing against Jacure, the singer. Jacure has done some very good song. My problem is Jacure the person. Jacure ways got the better of him. They have a little thing where them say, show off, bring disgrace, you know. And I hope enough of these youngsters learn something from this, you know. Because you must have heard the voice note. If you haven't yet heard it, I'm going to play it at the end of this video. And I can tell you, no judge listening to that voice note is going to say Jack Cure was defending himself. Because that is what he tried to tell the court. Now, Jack Cure, he went to Netherlands last year in October. Oh, well, he went from September. He did one or two shows for a guy named Nicardo Blake. He's popularly known as Papa. Well, he did one of the shows on October 1 at Dam Square in the city center of Amsterdam. Jack Yor is claiming that he was not paid what he was supposed to be paid. As a result, there was a conflict and it is said that Jack Yor, he used a knife to inflict some serious wounds to Papa. Jack Yor, he was arrested and charged. He was charged for one attempted murder and two attempted manslaughter. The court, they dismissed the attempted murder charge and convicted him on attempted manslaughter. The court rejected Jacure's claim of self-defense. Now, in Amsterdam or in the Netherlands, Jacure can appeal as also the prosecution. They can appeal. Now, this appeal must be filed within two weeks. So they have until the next maybe 10 or 12 days to file that appeal. Jack York can appeal against the sentence of the court or the fact that they found him guilty. The prosecution, they can appeal that the court did not find Jack York guilty for attempted murder. They can also appeal the sentence that was handed down by the court. So Jack York, he went to court and he was claiming self-defense. He was saying that it was Papa who first attacked him. Listen to this voice note. <laughs> Listen to this voice note and tell me if you agree with the fact that Jack Yor was attacked. Because this voice note that Jack Yor sent to whoever he sent it to, it proved that it was a clear case of premeditated attack. Yeah man, Jack Yor planned this and we are told that this 
was the nail in Jack Cure's coffin. He's now sent away for six years in prison. We are not sure how much of the six years he's going to serve. Listen to the voice note and drop your comments in the comment section below. Also, like and share this video. Here goes. Brother, let me tell you a story. I'm in the middle of Amsterdam Square with some killers. I'm waiting on Papa to stab them like 60,000 times, bro, and I have the knife myself. I'm ashamed to tell you this, bro. I take off all my jewelry. I'm in the damn square with Penko, and I'm going to show Penko that he needs to put respect on his name. My brother, this is stupid what I'm telling you, but believe me to God. If Papa shows up here, you will hear the news and someone will be here to make the video. My brother, I'm not lying when I tell you this. I'm waiting on Papa to fix him. Good. And I'm waiting if he shows, brother, you will hear the news. I make no joke. And I would never send you a voice note like this for no reason. I'm not here to make a comedy show, bro. Or a movie. But I'm here to start a real fucking live show. Bro, believe me. This nigga let me work this stage and don't pay me, bro. And he's talking tough. I'm waiting on him. Bro, if he shows, you will know. Blessed love, everybody.